Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm a woman over 40. I like vlogging. I like cooking. I like giving advice. I'm not new to YouTube, but I'm new to you guys. So enjoy it and jump in. I'll see you in my next clip. Again, thanks for watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know it's kind of random, but I'm just getting home from work. So I need to, and I went by Walmart because uh, I want to make some, a pizza. But, you know, I'm, I'm my, um for those that don't know, if you're just watching me for the very first time, which I haven't been, my, my channel hasn't been, I haven't been vlogging on this channel for very long. So I only, I try to do maybe 1200 calories a day at the most but mostly I do less because I listen to my body when it comes to my appetite so I'm not really that hungry so I eat but sometimes not 1200 calories so what I want to show you what I picked up from Walmart so it's giving me some choices I originally said pizza for dinner but I'm not thinking about a salad because I have um, leftover chicken rotisserie that I showed in the um, maybe I did show you I think I I videoed it I think it's about a napkin anyway back to what we're doing I bought spring um, spring mix with spinach and oh yeah spinach and spring mix oh it's yeah organic and I bought some turkey drumsticks my son is supposed to um grill tomorrow he's supposed to barbecue on his grill so instead of chicken I love these so I'm going to season them up and what he does well what I do when I cook them I let them I grill them for about maybe 20 or 30 minutes and then because they're not thoroughly cooked then I, I wrap them good in foil then I continue the cooking in the oven until it gets really, really tender. So that's what I have. That'll be tomorrow night. Which will be Friday night. And then I bought some chicken thighs pre-seasoned, which I very seldom do that, but it was a good price. So I got some Asiago, Asiago type, peppercorn seasoned, dry rubbed, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And these were only $3.92. I've never tried them before. I'm not going to put these on the grill. I'm not going to have them do it because I don't want them to overcook and get kind of like dry and all that. So I don't know how I'm going to cook these just yet. But I'm thinking when I cook them, I'm going to toss them with some broccoli in the skillet with some olive oil. I'm going to cut, up, cut it up real, real fine or either on top, of a, um, on top of salad. So that's the choice I have. My favorite salad of all time so far is this right here, this kit. It's a kale kit, sweet kale. This is so good. I can eat this every day. Just uh, this is all you need. Just this pack it comes with the dressing, and you let it sit for about 10 minutes after you mix it all together. Boom, that's it. And what it is, the the macros are pretty good. One cup is 150 calories. So, and that's a lot, believe it or not, of this salad. I think the whole bag is almost like two cups. So you, that, it's almost like a whole bag. Of, this whole bag for like um, what 300 calories, if that. But I got that. I'm gonna have that again. I had it. I had it last night along with some. What do I have? Some chicken. And I love these. I know they're not the best because they're kind of processed. Excuse this um, angle, but hey. But I love these right here. 100 calories per pack. And I get these. I use them for my wraps. What else I put these on? Just my wraps, basically. Sometimes on a salad. But I got. The corned beef, all corned beef, I think. Yeah, that's three packs. No, turkey. And I got some more corned beef. If you tell I love corned beef. And for strawberry is another pack. And some sliced mushrooms for tonight. Put these on top of my pizza. And I bought some fat-free mozzarella cheese. And I think one fourth cup is only 45 calories. So I'm going to use this on the pizza. And for the crust, I'm going to use, um, I've got these 
torpedoes here that I'm going to use by Joseph's. I call Joseph's. Um, they're pretty good for carbs. Omega 3 is flax and oat bran whole wheat, and it's only 60, 60 calories per pita. So I'm going to cook this first until it gets crispy in the oven. I might, um, I might show you guys. Then I'm going to use some salsa instead of marinara sauce. The salsa has less calories. And I'm going to smear some salsa on top. And I have some. Hey, pretty girl. You ready for your treat? I have some. Um, I picked these up yesterday as well. From um, Walmart. Turkey pepperoni. I'm gonna this is what I'm gonna put this on on the top of the piece though. And I was gonna do some shaking. So that's being greedy though. So I just might just do the pepperoni, the turkey pepperoni. And some um, fresh spinach. I'm gonna chop that up and put that on top as well. And that's gonna be it for dinner. But I'll come back and show you how I'm gonna get out of this these clothes and I'll show you how I prepare my dinner for tonight. I'm gonna let her out. Come on, you wanna go outside and mommy fix your food? Come on. I hope you guys had a good day so far. Come on. Let's go. I got you. <laughs> Come on. Well, that ends that because you, you're too bothersome to the neighbor. We have a neighbor sitting down on the other on his porch down further and she just she's so friendly and she wants to go bother him and I gotta feed the cat okay as you can see the crust is almost done so I'm gonna take it out and sit it here but what I need to do is weigh out my cheese Do one fourth cup of the cheese here. Which is I think it's like 28 grams. So I'm gonna switch it over from um I'm gonna switch the units to grams. I'm gonna tear it, make sure it's zero. And I'm gonna weigh it. Do 60. Then let it be 90 calories for the whole serving. Okay. And again, this is fat free cheese. And it's, what is it? Mozzarella. So now we're going to do the toppings on the pizza and get it ready to go in the back in the oven. So I'm going to sit this cheese up here. I'm gonna put the scale away. And now to do the toppings. I'm gonna to use some salsa. And this is only like 10 calories for what? Two tablespoons. So this is why, this is what I was saying. Might be a little bit runny, but I don't want a lot of sauce anyway. So my crust is really, really, um, my pita is really, really, really <laughs> crispy. So I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do some mushrooms next. I'm trying to decide what order I wanna lay these. This is the mushrooms here. The lighting is permitting, but this is my last minute. I didn't plan this, so I'm trying to, you know, include you. I'm gonna do what I eat in the day, eventually. But, you know, I don't know when. No, I won't finish next, now that I'm looking at it. some fresh spinach leaves. I'm not very hungry. 
like I told you earlier. So I'm just gonna do one pizza, one personal pizza. Then I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna season it with some Italian seasoning. And just some onion powder. As well as garlic powder. Now I'm gonna put a few mushrooms, not a lot. Cause they're kinda thick. <laughs> that should be enough. Now I'm gonna lay my pepperoni. This is 16 pepperoni. 16 pepperoni I think has, I think 70 calories. It's a lot of, it's gonna be extra pepperoni on this on this little personal pan. It's not a pan pizza, but you know, on this personal pizza. And this is, like I told you before, it's turkey. It's not um, the regular type of sausage. It's turkey based. I did talk to my son about the turkey legs. So I'm going. To, I've, I've pre-seasoned them earlier. I didn't include them in the um, in the vlog. But I'm, I got to go drop those off tonight. I might bring you along with. I don't know. It all depends on. And now we're going to top it with the cheese that I pre-measured. Just like that. This is good for kids to make their own personal pieces. And it's like I said, this, this, um, can't really, this pita pocket is only 60 calories. It's flaxseed and oat. I can't remember what else it is, but it has omega-3 some kind of way stuck in it. But I'm going to turn the, um, the toaster oven back to cook for maybe like 10, 15 more minutes. This is very sturdy. The crust, very crispy and thin. I'm going to slide it back in. This is kind of hot. I got to be careful. And I'm going to let it do its thing. Okay, I think it's... Whew. Okay, no, I don't do this, what I'm doing. But... There we go. I got a lot of cheese on here. I'll tell you that. I think I'm gonna add some um a little bit of color to it. Some parsley flakes. Those are dry parsley flakes. I don't like fresh parsley or cilantro. I'm just not into it. It's good and crispy. I don't need them smaller. <laughs> I'm just being honest. There we have it. There's my pizza, guys. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye.